G'day. Um, I've had a question from Nigel on my old channel, Aussie Boater, about fridges. Um, so, mate, listen, in hindsight, I reckon it would be better to have a 12-volt fridge because um, because compressors uh, are still 240-volt. I have seen a proper 12-volt compressor, but it's massively expensive. Um, so the fact that Compressors are still 240 volt. That's got me thinking to, well, that's the reason that I decided to get a 240 volt fridge. So instead of the fridge inverting it, I was using my Victron inverter to power the fridge, right? In hindsight, yeah, look, I think a 12 volt fridge with its own little inverter inside would be a lot better, providing that you also install a cutoff switch or solenoid to prevent the fridge draining your batteries. Because if you leave the fridge on overnight, it can potentially, you know, drain your batteries to dead, you know? So at the moment, my Victron enables me to select a voltage for it to cut out. So at the moment, I have it set at 12.2 volts. So at 12.2, it automatically shuts down the inverter. Um, look, so the 240 volts has been really interesting because over summer, I can pretty much run it now it's a russell hobbs fridge with a separate freezer compartment and i've also been able to run my drinks fridge that's one well over in the corner over there right only because i've got a thousand watts of solar on the roof if i didn't have the solar i think i'd still struggle um with a 240 volt right um so, yeah, look, in hindsight, mate, yeah, I think um, definitely getting a 12-volt fridge with a, with a, um, a cut-off solenoid or, or cut-out switch. But also, given the nature of boating, um, you often, especially if you can't travel around country areas, uh, when you're not near a supermarket, you know, you've got to keep food for longer periods. So my advice is to buy a separate 240-volt freezer separate freezer unit because i've left that little i've left the fridge off and the freezer off for three days and everything in the freezer still remains frozen so potentially you know you can you know start it up um you know for three you know get it, everything frozen in the freezer and then turn it off for a couple of days so you could potentially save power that way um, but yeah, look, if you're just going to get a fridge, I get a 12 volt, um, just make sure you get some kind of solenoid or cut off so that the fridge doesn't drain your batteries. But, um, yeah, look, um, yeah, but if I, yeah, with the solar though, it's made all the difference. I can run 240 volt appliances all through summer. In the winter, however, nobody uses a fridge. <laughs> We use the natural fridge that is the British climate, you know. We just stick. You, you'll often see boaters stick their milk and stuff outside their hatch. Well, I do the same. I've got one of those um, cooler bags. So I stick all of my uh, refrigerated stuff in that and stick it out in the bow because, uh, you know, the temperatures are usually under, well under 10 degrees C. So I use the, the natural refrigerator that is the British climate. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that's helped you, mate. Um, and good luck with it all.